It's got some gumbo and New Orleans. And I got me some mac and cheese. And there's the seitan and the gumbo. So I'm ready and excited to be digging on in. And what, what was the smoothie you got? This is pineapple, ginger, almond milk. It's Something tasty. That was pretty good though. And oh my gosh, the mac and cheese. My very favorite thing. My very favorite mac and cheese pretty much anywhere I feel like. What do you think? Mm. Very good. So good. I love Seed Cafe. So Steve got the vegetable etouffee. We're still at seed. You know it. Are you good? Can I have a bite? Sure. <laughs> the smallest bite you could have ever scooped on that spoon. <laughs> mm, perfect. Good. That's way good. And I got the tofu po boy. It's enormous. Let's see if I can set this down. This is huge. Mm. Get you a bite, baby. <laughs> it's not enormous. <laughs> Get your mouth on that. What do you think? Tasty. For a guy who usually hates tofu, not bad, right? Not bad. Very good. Very good. So I pretty much destroyed that poor boy. Steve ate all of his etouffee. 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 New Orleans, you're silly. But uh, I am so happy. And that was so, so tasty. Seed is my absolute favorite lover. Oh, no. oh, you are too. <laughs> what did you do your food? It's off the chain again. Very good. So good. What were you saying earlier about your tongue? I think my tongue is chasing down my taste buds. Because my taste buds are really warm. <laughs> and he's not even vegan. Nope. But it was tasty. I'm a dork. Thirty pounds is a new recent PR for me, so I've been really excited about that. Uh, as post show gains happen with weight, so does gains of 
pounds that I can lift. Look at my faces right here. If you ain't making faces in your workouts, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I already did a set before that of 15, and then this is a set of 12. <laughs> the reason I'm not cutting all of this out is because I do want to show that I did the full set, and then I also want to show you that it was indeed 30 dumbbells, or 30 pounds. 30 pounds! Yeah, yeah! Getting it. We love the French Quarter. It is absolutely beautiful. We also walked around on Royal Street. So, we're at 13 on Frenchman Street, and I got me a tofu po' boy. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Her vegan sandwich. Yeah, buy my vegan sandwich. Is it tasty? Mm -hmm. You gonna eat it all for me? <laughs> Give me a bite of that. Ooh, there's like some cucumber pickles on it. What do you want, right now? Yeah. generous man got us a, a beignet. He just gave it to us, but we also got the Girl Scout cheesecake again. And we're pretty excited. Mm. There it is. Thank you. And of course, she's got his pineapple smoothie again. It's so good. These are the, the giant people who gave us the beignet. They're awesome. <laughs> so I think Claude Street is my favorite because you can see right into the kitchen. Check that out. Right into the kitchen. I love it. The one thing that I do wish I could change about both locations is to be able to change the side dish. You can only have the side dish of the day with your comfort entree. drinking on his drink. <laughs> so this is the barbecue sandwich and the chickpea salad and I'm excited to get on in there. That was real messy. Oh, oh, oh. except for the bun. It was really, really tasty. And I liked the pickled vegetables on top of it. It was delicious. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead, baby. Being good. The cookie was meh. It was kind of a regular cookie. And it was kind of dry. But don't let me deter you from eating the cookie. We saw the sign near Frenchman Street and we both really liked it. So we had to get a pick. So this isn't anything I partook in, but it is a vending machine of champagne. And it just kind of makes me really super happy. <laughs> so what I eat in the day differs a lot from what I eat at night in New Orleans. Um, each morning I have oatmeal, 
Usually I take about half of it and then I put my protein powder in it. Yep, it's baggied in there. And then I'll have like a fruit, like an orange. And despite the fancy, fancy place that I'm in right now, I'm usually next door at the hotel that I'm staying at, but there's Starbucks right out of Oakville. So I came over here. So like I said, half to the oatmeal and then this is simply organic my vanilla protein powder Yum. Two scoops. this is the end of class at the pole studio I went to at Awakenings in New Orleans and this is just me playing and having fun afterwards check out the guy in the back he was really good most guys are when they do pool though and at the care flip boom Yay! So I just finished my pole class and there was a Chinese place right next door. So I got a tofu salad and I'm just crushing it because I'm so, so hungry. Okay, so now I went to a Chinese place because that itty bitty salad was definitely not enough. Please excuse my way crazy hair because it's super rainy outside, but check out all this tofu and this rice. Yes! Really, really hoping it's not cooked in animal broth. Their English was not so great, so here's the hoping. <laughs> and yeah, I'm about to chow down. Tofu is super soft. I like it firmer, but beggars can't be choosers. And I'm at the Golden Wall on Canal Street. For dinner we went to Finn 32 and we had a really fancy place. Vegetables was my only option but that was my dessert. And then we went to Gravier Street Social and saw a show. Our dinner was with his work buddies so I didn't really film it. So I'm at Amarino and I'm getting the leche flavor and the mango and the chocolate and she's making it a really pretty flower. I'm very excited. So like. If you can see this beautiful magnificence of a cone and like dry iceness is coming off of it, I'm very, very excited. <laughs> and then I even got a mango macaroon in the middle. It's, it's super fantastic. And all my dreams super, super have come fantastic. true. All my vegan New Orleans dreams, not yet. He stole my ice cream. It's all over his nose and in his beard and the sides of his mouth. Yum. This is how I make my TVP in the hotel. This is what I've usually been having for lunch. And I give myself, usually for lunch I'll have two servings, but for breakfast I'm only going to have one because I'm going to add in a protein powder. I don't prefer Shakeology and this isn't a plug for them. I just got a free sample packet. Um, from my vegan group, so <laughs> that's what I'm using. Usually I use Simply Organic and I get it from Walmart. And I did bring some of that as well on my trip. But I'm feeling chocolate today, so that is why we're doing this one. Plus one serving of PVP and a serving of this equals 30 grams of protein plus my orange. So, I think that is absolutely perfect. Supposedly there are studies done that like only, your body only absorbs 30 grams of protein at a time. And I don't know if that's a fact or whatever, but I'm going to take it for face value. So I've placed it in the coffee maker. Of course I need to put some water in there. So I'm putting some water in there. Boop, boop, boop. And then I 
push start and that's it that's how i cook my tvp in the coffee maker i just wait until the water drips into the tvp and if i'm having it for lunch i'll usually have it with like i bought this seasoning here in new orleans like usually if you're going somewhere touristy they're going to be selling seasonings if not um i usually bring poultry seasoning or you can find that at the grocery store where you're traveling it's really simple super simple the first day i didn't have my seasoning so i bought or i didn't buy but i used a uh, coffee in the coffee maker and it was coffee flavored tvp which was all right but um yeah super simple super easy way to eat your food while you're traveling and i mean honestly this is all you gotta bring and you don't have to go out for lunch and breakfast every single day so there you have it it's like a chocolate oatmeal made out of oats or sorry made out of tvp but tastes just like chocolate oatmeal promise